I mean, what, what did I expect? <laughs> what did I expect? It's Dollar Tree, right? What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're already part of the fam, hello. How are you? Thank you for your continued support. So today I am coming to you guys with this look right here. And yes, I did this look with all products from the Dollar Tree. Yes, sis, I did all of this with Dollar Tree products, and I must say, you guys will see that it was a struggle. It was a struggle, but we made it out. And yes, my lashes, these are the lashes. <laughs> This is what this is what they gave me from the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get into the video. Yo, I mean, I'm excited. I don't know about you, sis, but I'm excited, okay? I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up a lot of makeup. So I'm a little nervous because I don't know what to expect. So I'm gonna go through and show you pretty much everything that I got before we totally dive in. And this is not in any type of particular order. I'm just pulling it out of the bag, okay? So we have a blender sponge, a lip pencil duo. Then I also got a couple of brushes. I got a blending brush, which I actually already have one of these. I enjoy it. I have a contour brush. And I have a, it says a smoker liner brush, but I'm just gonna use it as like an eyeshadow brush. And then I have this bronzer right here. And I love how they try to make it look like Benefit, like, okay, instead of Benefit Cosmetics, it's Beauty Benefits Hollywood, okay? And then I got a blush, mascara, and I got two palettes, so, I have this palette right here and this palette. Some uh, lip gloss, a powder, a BB cream, a foundation, a liquid eyeliner, a concealer, an eyebrow pencil, and some lashes. All right, so they didn't have any primer, so that's what I purchased the BB cream for. Now, if you've ever purchased, I believe it's the Maybelline BB cream, they have a BB cream that looks very similar to this. I mean, packaging and everything. So when I saw this, I was like, and hopefully it acts as a primer. And I'm gonna show you guys the color, which I mean, just off the bat, matches me kind of well the product definitely moisturized my skin uh, it definitely feels a little bit moisturizing and it's smooth it kind of smooths down a little bit so okay and now i'm going to do a step that i usually do in my foundation routine which is applying some powder over that just to kind of add as an extra layer of smoothness so i'm gonna go into that powder and the powder is tan so and this is the darkest powder that they have so i'm just gonna use the little styrofoam little thing it's so thin i'm just gonna use that and press that in the areas where i get more oily in areas that I just want to be more smooth. So this was the only foundation that they had and it's actually called Liquid Makeup and it's by LA Colors. And let me mention that the powder was by LA Colors and the BB cream was by Sassy and Chic. So Liquid Makeup and it's in the color tan. And this was the darkest shade that they had. I'm just gonna pump it straight onto my face. Ooh. Okay. That may be too much. That may be too much. Yeah. This sponge is so hard. Like, oh my goodness. So it's definitely not my skin color. <laughs> definitely not my skin color, honey. 
like I feel like I need to apply more, but I don't know if applying more is gonna help me. Like, oh my God, look at this. Girl. So this is the foundation right now. And, oh my God. It's stressful, sis. I'm stressed, I am stressed right now. Okay, I mean, what, what did I expect? <laughs> what did I expect? It's Dollar Tree, right? So hopefully this oxidizes a little bit. Um, girl, I don't even know if they products can oxidize. And the eyebrow pencil that I'm using is by Wet n Wild, and I've actually purchased this before, so, you know, I'm not treading on familiar waters here. I mean, you know, like when you're younger, you be buying all that cheap makeup. <laughs> um, I'm sure we've all been there, okay? Nobody starts off buying, you know, Lancome and Benefit and NARS and all that, okay? You don't start off with that. You start off with Dollar General, Dollar Tree makeup, period, sis. So I'm just going to So this is definitely smoother than I remember, like the actual formula. So that doesn't look too bad, honey. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that foundation. I don't even know if this is a necessary step, but I'm doing everything I can possible to make this look turn out decent. Now I'm going to take the concealer, which is by LA Colors. I'm sure these, you know, eyeshadows are gonna have fallout, so. As I mentioned, I bought two palettes, so pretty much one is a matte palette, which is this one, and then the other one has some shimmers in it. So I'm going to go in with this shade right. I'm gonna run that in the crease. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm just going to do it to the other side just for good measure so that everything turn out the same. I'm going to go in with this gold right here. Okay, next I'm going to go into that lower blue color. Then I'm gonna go back into that gold just to kind of blend everything together. Honey, this is definitely carnival makeup, honey. I am giving you carnival. I want to go into the next blue color, which is in the middle. And I'm going to start adding that on the outer third of the eye. Now I'm going to go into the darkest blue, which is at the top, and we are going to add that in the outer V area. All right, so this is what we have right now. So it's a really nice gradient effect to it. Oh my God, oh my God. I don't know if y'all can see all the fallout. Do y'all see that? Like all right here? <laughs> so now I'm just going to line my eyes. And I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with eyeliner, right? Let's go ahead and move on to highlighting. 
and I'm going back in with that same concealer. This is ridiculous. Oh my God, look at this. Look at that right there. Oh my God. It's pulling off the makeup. This sponge is ridiculous. It's like a freaking rock. Oh my God, it's so patchy. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't even work with that anymore. Like it's just not working. I'm going to go back into that powder and I'm going to use the blush brush and I'm going to try to press underneath the eyes. Okay. All right. Now I am going to bronze with that Beauty Benefits bronzer. So this looks pretty promising though. So, and that is the color of that. And maybe the bronze will, you know. <clears throat> the bronze really isn't that bad. To be honest. Yeah. Wow. You guys, I actually like this bronzer. Okay. So we're just going to use this as a way to correct <laughs> the face. So I'm almost gonna use it as a powder, but not so. And we're just gonna warm up the face. I am impressed, I really like this. I am shocked. So, yeah, that's the blush, which is, oh God, it's starting to look a little strange. I'm gonna go back in with that powder and try to cut out. Now, one thing I do like this powder for is what I'm utilizing it for right now. So cutting and blending and smoothing out products. I'm just gonna go back into that bronzer. Actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip my brush into both of these. And we're just gonna see what happened, okay? At this point, we just gotta see what happened. So I'm just gonna go back and forth in between them both. I am exhausted. It's time to move back to the eyes and I'm going to go in with this mascara and it's a Wet n Wild mascara. These are the lashes that I got from the Dollar Tree. And um, <laughs> it came with some glue right here. It's like very warm. We're gonna go ahead and move on to lips, honey, and maybe they'll dry enough for me to make them stick. I'm gonna go into this mauve because I've really been loving mauve colors. You gotta inspect it. It's a pretty nice brown, like I'm not even gonna lie. Hmm. 
So I'm gonna fill my whole lip in with this actually. Because it's not dry. Like I mentioned before, I just feel like these products aren't dry. Like they put a lot of oil in them, for real. So now I'm gonna go in with lip gloss because I didn't want any lipsticks from there. But this is the lip gloss that I'm going to be using. I think I'm gonna go in with this one. And this whole package is called Bombshell. So I'm sure the other one had some type of name at the top, but honey, I ripped it off, okay? I ain't see it. Not bad. It just has that cheap lip gloss smell. And so now I'm gonna see if these eyelashes wanna stay. Let's see. Nope, they're not staying. They're not staying. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a definitely <laughs> a challenge, okay? It was definitely a challenge, but you can definitely get by with it. So I'm just going to recap on the products that I enjoy personally. So the eyeliner, I think it is good i mean i like the eyeliner and it applied very nicely and very smooth the tip could be tapered a little bit so you can get a more easier sharp line but overall honey it's a dollar and it does the job okay next i like the mascara i really didn't talk too much about it but what i like most about the mascara is the wand and it's pretty darn small so you can get your lower lashes very well and you know that is what i enjoyed about the mascara alone the blush definitely enjoyed it it has a really good color payoff which i think will last long and it's just a blush like i don't feel like you need to buy a 30 dollars blush to survive in the makeup world okay and then i also have it on the lower lash line and i don't know if you guys could really tell but it adds such a nice pop of color and it has good pigment to it period Believe it or not, I did enjoy the BB cream. It was definitely moisturizing, and I think it's the one thing that saved my base, to be honest. I think that's why I have such a nice glow to the skin, in a sense. I think it really helped to, to let everything settle in together. So, yeah, I will probably use this in my makeup routine or if i'm just doing something real quick i would probably use this i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie i enjoyed the lip liner i like that it is a nice nude brown and i like the formula of it i like that it's not too stiff and that it glides on the lips very well so i'll definitely be implementing this into my makeup routine and this red one is actually pretty bomb when i put it on i mean i feel like you can utilize anything to its optimal potential and and I mean, for this, I believe it's good to kind of clean up the line because it cleaned up the bronzer very well, made it a little bit more sharp. And last but not least, honey, the star of the show. I was so impressed by this. And I mean, the freaking bronzer. This is a really nice bronzer. Like, I was so freaking shocked. And I mean, it just really brought so much warmth to my face and it made everything look like it was my skin tone color i mean you really can't tell that the fountain i mean a little bit around my mouth but overall when it comes to like the cheeks and the forehead like you really can't tell that the foundation was completely off and completely ridiculous so that's you know a plus within itself but this bronzer if you have a dollar tree near you go pick up this freaking bronzer the package look like it's from benefit sis okay so <laughs> go pick up the bronzer and i mean i am just in shock like i'm excited to use this in my next makeup video and i am going to use it in my next makeup video because that's just how much i liked it okay so once again thank you guys for joining me today and if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button and go binge watch my other <laughs> makeup videos okay because i have plenty of them on my channel and check out my vlog and i'm gonna just been watch me okay just been watch but this is noches booze and i'll see you guys on my next video bye